A humble nerf dot. Oh, Jesus Christ. A humble nerf dot. It might not look it, but believe me, this thing was the final piece in a puzzle that had been giving me a severe headache for a few days. You see, recently I availed myself of the waifu GPU. I was very excited to take ownership of it, and as luck would have it, it was too big to fit in the old PC case. Apparently I could have taken out a few of the hard drive caddies that are part of the frame, but that seemed like too much effort for me. Enter the Lian Li Lancool 2. As it happens, an absolute pig of a case to build in in comparison to my previous machine, and led to a few hairy moments during the process of transplanting all of the hardware from the old PC into its new home. Chief amongst which being the fact that I managed to snap a few motherboard pins related to the front USB inputs. Thankfully not the main USB-C input. The other ones I can live without, but man, getting anything in that was an absolute bastard and uh, I'm just gonna have to wait till a new motherboard if I want to use that part of the machine. Oh well. Anyway, everything eventually found its place, save for the Nerf Dart, which in this case is now used as a very structurally important component of the whole endeavor. You see, this is a load-bearing Nerf Dart. I'm sure you're all aware of the phenomenon known as GPU sag. It's certainly more prevalent these days as cards get bigger and chunkier. And, uh, you know, I, I can't trust the poor brace at the back of the rig or even the, the PCIe slot to bear the brunt. So, believe it or not, this thing, perfect height and perfect kind of uh, springiness and rigidity. It's not, it's not too tough. It's got a little bit of give and it fits the bill just right. Get back there. Now, this is all well and good, but... Naturally, a few of you must be thinking, gee, Icarus, that sure is a nice waifu-powered rig you've slapped together there. What are you going to use it to play? Uh, d yeah, Doom. Largely Doom. But hey, believe it or not, Doom can really stress out a system these days. If you're playing something through GZ Doom like nuts, loaded up with, say, Russian Overkill and Nash Gore on top of that, oh boy, believe me, you're going to be dropping a few frames here and there. I mean... The evidence is plain to see. Without Nash Gore, though, it, it's buttery smooth. It just it just works. But for some reason, I take a perverse kind of joy in just seeing how much it struggles with just extra gore effects turned on. But in all seriousness, it gives me absolutely wonderful benchmarks in the likes of Cyberpunk 2077, uh, Hitman 3. I can now more adequately use all of that fancy RTX business and actually maintain reasonable, stable frame rates, which is absolutely lovely. It's also going to help greatly when it comes to overall quality of my live streams, which hopefully I'll get a little bit more time to do further on down the line. And it's certainly going to help when it comes to reducing render time when I get around to editing new videos. But in any case, thank you for joining me on this little side quest, whatever you want to call it. This effort to upgrade my setup and desperately justify the exorbitant amount of money I've spent in the process of doing so. I hope you've gotten a little bit of entertainment out of it, and if you ever find yourself in a similar situation, hey, don't forget about the good old Nerf Dart. Until next time, Icarus out.